What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today we're taking a look at the Galliard. This is a legendary auto rifle and it's one of the rarest and best auto rifles in the game. So if you want to find out how to get it and the sort of roles that you need to be looking for, then this is the video for you. Now if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now alongside the launch of Season 10, Season of the Worthy, we saw a massive change and huge buffs to auto rifles and specifically the 600 rounds per minute archetype. And with that in mind, there are some amazing weapons in the game currently, most notably Hardlight, Surus Regime, Gnawing Hunger, but the one we're going to be covering off today is the Galliard. This is one of the rarest and most sought after auto rifles currently in the game. This is an adaptive frame, so it has a well-rounded grip, it's reliable and sturdy. If you were fortunate enough to get it in year one, you may be able to pull this from your collections and that will have a rampage role so if you want to give it a try before potentially farming one out then be sure to check your collections first to see if you can do that if you don't have it like i didn't then you're going to have to farm one out and this is my one so this is the one that i got and the only one that i have and as you can see i have tap the trigger on this now tap the trigger grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on the initial trigger pull and alongside that i have range finder so aiming with this weapon increases its effective range and zoom magnification it also has an increased projectile velocity while aiming grenade launchers and rocket launchers but neither of those apply so a combination of tap the trigger and range finder on this particular auto rifle is an absolutely deadly combo in terms of preferred roles you're probably looking for something like ricochet rounds in the first column which gives you increased stability and range in the second column you're probably looking for something like dynamic sway reduction this is when holding down the trigger this weapon's sway reduction system boosts accuracy over time which allows you to hit those shots consistently especially at range and in terms of the final column you've got a couple of choices here if you like damage increasing perks you could use something like rampage or kill clip however range finder is probably the preferred option for me as this helps increase its effective range and zoom magnification and when you combine that with some of the scopes that are on offer some of the medium and mid-range scopes you can compete with things like scout rifles and pulse rifles very effectively at range as you'll see from some of the footage playing out now in terms of preferred mods i normally put targeting adjuster on pretty much most of my fast firing weapons however with this auto rifle the recoil direction is actually a stat of 70 out of 100 and if you add the counterbalance mod this gets us closely to the magic 80 stat and this will allow the weapon to pretty much fire like a laser beam especially on pc so now we know what sort of role it is that we're looking for but how do we actually get this weapon now there are two ways in which you can get this weapon both can be done either solo and one can actually be done as part of a fire team effectively now the first one is actually the forge saboteurs now these are located over on nessus and the european dead zone but on nessus you can find two relatively close together we head over to artifacts edge where we normally find the cabal public event now the forge saboteurs normally spawn in and around the similar time to the public event itself you'll know when one is about to spawn in as you'll see these black armory forge crates appear now the aim here is to try and take out the forge saboteur as soon as you possibly can as quickly as you can be sure to take out the little drone surrounding him in order to remove the shield. Now once you've effectively taken out the first saboteur from here in Artifact's Edge, we can head north towards the Hallow. Now heading this way actually takes us towards one of the other Black Armory Forge entrances and the saboteurs themselves spawn in and around those entrances. Now the fortunate thing here is that the distance between Artifact's Edge and the Hallow is very short. And once we get to the Hallow itself, once we drop down, we'll hopefully encounter the Cabal Forge Saboteur. And much like the first one, we need to take this out as quickly as possible. Now much like public events, all these are on a timer and if you are solo then it's possible to respawn at Artifact's Edge to get into a new instance and if you are quick enough you may be able to double dip on the Forge Saboteurs as well. So that's how you can farm this weapon solo out in the wild. If you're part of a fire team or you want to just mix it up a little bit in terms of how you're trying to farm from this weapon then you can jump back into the Black Armory Forges. These rotate on a daily basis and can be found under the European Dead Zone on the south side of the map. Now the Galliard is a random drop from completing a successful Black Armory Forge is absolutely not possible to AFK farm this weapon. You will need to complete the forge successfully. But the great thing is, is that a lot of people are currently searching for this weapon. So you'll likely find that a lot of the fire teams that you join, even as a solo player, are more than capable of finishing the activity in search for this weapon. Now, what I will say is you will need to be very patient as this weapon is extremely rare. I would probably say it's almost as rare, if not rarer than 1K Voices, just because it took me a whole week 
weekend and I've only seen one drop in that time. Another thing to bear in mind is with the fallen saboteurs, you're opening yourself to a much larger loot pool. This would be things that include world drops and also the reprised legendaries from the original faction rally. So that's how we get the weapon. So we know what the weapon is, we know how to get it, but what makes it so good right now? Now our good friend Asdacross covered this fantastically in a recent video, I'll be sure to link his in the video description below, but it's a combination of the solid stats this weapon has by default, but also the perk combinations which are entirely unique to this weapon. Now while some other weapons can have dynamic sway reduction, it's the combination of that perk and rangefinder, or even tap the trigger and rangefinder that makes this a formidable solid all round weapon. And as it's a legendary as opposed to an exotic, it allows you the opportunity to pair this with things like Bastion, Chaperone, and really go in with an aggressive playstyle, but also have the range to be able to pick off pulse rifles and scout rifles at range. So there we have it, that is the Galliard 42 XN7568. It's a bit of a lengthy one, but well worth the grind if you're willing to put the hours in. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.